Hello YouTube, it's Barbara Jean. Okay, <laughs> um, I felt the Lord wanted me to make these videos, so I'm going to make a video on Obama. And the next video I'm going to make is on the Antichrist. So be prepared. They may be a little long. They may. I'm not sure how long they'll be. But uh, I'm going to try to make them <laughs> concise. However, uh, I wanted to um, touch on a couple of things I believe the Lord is really wanting me to speak about at this time. And uh, the first one I wanted to talk about is the Ant uh, Obama. And... <laughs> Uh, I wanted to go back to a dream I had uh, just not too long ago, a couple of months ago, called A Warning, in which uh, in this dream I saw Obama rubbing two wrists together, and I heard in this dream two words, witchcraft, and this will bring judgment. Okay. Um, anyway, I wanted to bring that up because I felt it was important uh, to find out exactly who Obama is and I believe the Lord has told me who he is and um, I believe Paul Begley is correct in his his um, analysis that Obama is not the Antichrist and the fact that I've never believed he was the Antichrist um, for certain reasons which I will discuss in my next video um, but however he is the man who uh, knows dark sentences I believe that is who he is and I will show you some correlations to back that up. Um, let me just go to, uh, uh, where should I start first? Let's go to Daniel. Let's go to the book of Daniel. Uh, this is going to be off the cuff. I just wrote, wrote down some things quickly, um, but I felt like I needed to make this today. And if I don't do it right away, I have a tendency to procrastinate. So I will do this now. So I'm going to read, first of all, Daniel chapter 8, verses no, no, I'm going to go to Daniel chapter 2 first. Daniel chapter 2, starting at verse 33 through 35. Now, this is the dream that Nebuchadnezzar has that Daniel interprets for him about the kingdoms, the great kingdoms of the world that would rule and reign over the earth. Um... This is Daniel 8, oh, excuse me, Daniel 2, starting at verse 33. Um, he's talking, Daniel is describing the part of the dream where uh, Nebuchadnezzar had seen the legs and the feet. His legs of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou sawest till the, that stone was was cut out, cut out without hands. I want you to remember that word, those, those two words, without hands which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them in pieces. That was the iron and clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors and the wind carried them away that no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Okay, now let's go to Daniel chapter, to the same chapter starting at verse 44, 45. This is a little bit further um, explanation as to what that meant. And in the days of these kings shall God, the God of heaven, set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms and shall stand forever. For as much as thou sawest that stone, that stone was cut out of a mountain without hands, remember that verse, those, those two words, without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and gold. The great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, and the dream is certain, and the interpret, interpretation thereof. Now, I also wanted to read... Um, uh, Revelation. I think that's where I want to go next. No, no, I wanted to go Isaiah. What is, where is, did I write it down? I'm sure, I thought I did. No, I did not. Excuse me, people, I'm not going to stop this video. But I am going to quickly look something up, and then I will... Oh, no, I'm wrong. It is Daniel 8, it's not Isaiah. Daniel 8... And this is the 
prophecy of the man of dark sentences. This is the uh, the verses that Paul Begley has been actually quoting quite a bit lately, and uh, about Obama, and I believe he's correct. So let's just read that again. Um, Daniel 8, starting at verse 23. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark sentences shall stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. Now, just remember that that's what, what it means is that this man didn't do anything to earn this power. And Obama, and in fact, none of the presidents have actually earned this, the power to be president. They are elected. Um, Washington, I guess, was the only one who truly uh, earned the power or he, he, by his power, brought this king, you know, the kingdom of the United States or the democracy or republic of the United States into existence. So, um, but Obama came into power, but without any effort to do anything to, or to earn this power. And they shall, and he shall destroy wonderfully and shall prosper and practice and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Well, that I believe, it definitely describes the United States. They have indeed been mighty, and they're then the greatest Christian nation ever uh, that ever was, and this ever was. And he, the Obama, has come in and destroyed this, the mighty and the holy people uh, with <laughs> without effort. He just, he's just, and anyway, this girl goes on to describe him further in verse twenty-five. And through his policies, he shall cause craft to prosper which is witchcraft, remember my dream, uh, a warning. Uh, the Lord said witchcraft to me, and it says here, uh, and his poly, he shall cause craft, that means witchcraft, to prosper in his hands. So he is making witchcraft um, a, a, a viable, or what should I viable, it's becoming uh, prevalent in this kingdom or that he's ruling. And as we can see, definitely that witchcraft is increasing unbelievably fast right at this particular time on every commercial every I'm not every commercial but basically all over TV witchcraft is here there and everywhere and has increased incredibly since um, Obama has taken power over uh, the United States witchcraft has increased incredibly um, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall destroy many. What does he, Obama say over and over again? Peace and safety, peace and safety, peace and safety. And yet, every time he comes into a country, there seems to be war. Um, he shall stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. Remember that verse? The ones we before in Daniel, talks about in uh, Daniel 2 that I brought up, those two passages mentioned without hand. The same uh, word here, without hand. Now let's go to Revelation chapter um, chapter 6. Revelation chapter 6, and starting at verse 15. Now this is... Uh, that about the time of the rapture, the rapture happens, but something starts happening on the earth, and that's the destruction of a particular nation. And I believe that fir firmly is the United States. Uh, we know that that uh, this man, uh, Rodriguez, I don't remember his first name, uh, Rodriguez, the pastor in, in Puerto Rico, has seen a vision about a storm coming down, an asteroid destroying, uh, hitting the ocean near Puerto Rico, which I believe to be a true prophecy and um, anyway the stone comes down in the dream in Daniel's or Nebuchadnezzar's dream and hits the earth and brings down the great kingdoms of the world and this asteroid coming down and hitting near the Puerto Rico would destroy the kingdom of the United States or the Dominion or Republic or whatever it is we want to talk call it of the United States and this is where it is actually uh, comes to fruition uh, around just after the or during the rapture um, this is Satan trying to stop the rapture but it won't happen and I wanted to read Revelations 15 through 17 
and the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the thieves, and the captains, and the mighty men, and every bondsman, and every free man hid themselves in the dens and the rocks of the mountains, and said to the mountains and, rock and, rock, and the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb, for the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? So the rapture has happened, the, the rich men hide themselves, hoping to uh, uh, flee from the wrath of the Lord. Um, and as we read in Daniel, the book of Daniel says that that this stone was going to come and bring down those kingdoms without hand. Obama's reign and rule will be destroyed without hand, without anyone um, putting a hand on him or invading. It will happen from a stone coming down and hitting near Puerto Rico and this his kingdom will be, and basically his rule and reign will be destroyed, just as it says in the book of Daniel, as it's prophesied in Daniel 8. Um, I wanted to also read uh, Revelation chapter 8. Revelation 7, 8, 7. Um, this is actually the description of the uh, stone falling and the first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and there was cast upon the earth and the third part of the trees was burnt up and all the green grass was burnt up i believe that probably is a nuclear war of some sort and the second angel sounded and there was a great mountain burning with fire and was cast into the sea and the third part of the sea became blood and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died and the third part of the ships were destroyed so um Oh, wait, wait, wait. That, that is not actually the stone. That is a mountain or a volcano that falls into the sea on the earth. But uh, Revelation 10, And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains and the waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood, Wormwood and the third part of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. So I believe that this is the destruction of America. And the fourth part, uh, fourth angel sounded, and a third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, and the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. Where did we see that before? We saw that um, the sun and the moon shall be darkened. Where was that? I'm going to look that up. My memory is very short. Um. Oh, Matthew twenty four twenty nine. Um, actually, it shows up in a couple of places. Isaiah thirteen ten, Joel three fifteen. Matthew twenty four twenty nine, and Mark thirteen twenty four. So, that is actually uh, beginning of the tribulation. This is all going to happen at the beginning of the tribulation after the rapture of the church. Okay. So what I wanted to point out, especially to make you understand, um, is that Obama is not the antichrist. He is the man who understands dark sentences. He is the man who will bring down on the United States. Um, but he will also be destroyed without hand by a mountain and also by uh, over molten or, mul mountain or volcano or and also um, an, uh, nuclear war and <laughs> with a comet coming down or an or asteroid coming down and hitting the earth. He will be destroyed without hand. That's what that means. He will be destroyed without hand hand. So Obama is not the Antichrist. So I just want to make that clear. He, but he is the man who understands dark senses and the United States unfortunately will feel the complete destruction, will be completely destroyed by this man and because of his works. And as you remember back in my dream, go back and watch it, it's called a warning. Um, I said, I heard the word witchcraft and this will bring judgment. So this is, I guess the Lord was saying the judgment has been set. This man has done as much as he can 
and and as a result the lord is now going to bring judgment upon him and upon the nation that allowed him to rule and reign okay so anyway get yourself ready if you're not in christ now please do so as quickly as possible because there is not much much time if the lord is revealing this then it must mean that it's time so uh, i think the lord uh gives things in its time we he's opening our minds and understanding so that because he knows that we have to reveal it. It has to be revealed. It has to be understood. It was Our minds were darkened. We're looking through a mirror darkly. That's because the, the veil between heaven and earth has still was still heavily veiled. But now that veil is being removed. It's like the seven veils are being removed in this in cosmic dance that's going on. Um, and the, the, the veil between heaven and earth is getting thinner and thinner and thinner. And so that we are able to see things clearer as to what what means what and when the timing of all these things happen. So if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, please do so now. There isn't much time. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video.